it is the day or the night even before we fly out to Arnold's. I don't know if you can see me at all, probably not. That is what it is. Just gonna go for a little dip. Hopefully not drift away. I don't know if you can see in the back. Look, there you go. <laughs> Just feeling a little bit, I don't know, especially after Britain's kind of, I don't know, I've said it a few times, like I'll let myself down or let in, you know, whatever. And it's annoying because I do feel like that. And oh, I'm just lucky enough to have Arnold's as a, as a chance to make things right again. So apologies, this is really dark. <laughs> Sometimes I think we just put a bit too much pressure on ourselves and I think that's what I'm doing at the moment. I feel a bit peed off on myself. So looking forward to getting out there and performing to my utmost, especially with everything that's going on. You know, our uh, main guy, Alexi, sending our love to you, mate. I know you're competing in the Arnolds. I believe you're going back to Ukraine to fight after this, which just blows my mind. Absolutely insane what is happening in the world. So I hope you and your family will remain safe as always. It's just mad. It's mad how things just turn out sometimes. I hope that I am just now. This is my old life, the oil rigs. I like to come back here and remind myself that, you know, things are okay. But in reality, are they okay? So, anyway, I want to go for a dip. Hope everyone's okay. I'll speak to you after. Whoa, there's birds there, jeez. Hello guys, it's Tom Stockman here from the Stockman Brothers Doc, uh, YouTube channel. We are in Inverness Airport and our final destination is Earth, Australia. We will see you in Australia soon. So it's getting food. Looks there. So she's there. And we are going to America. First stop, America. First stop, America. Yes, America. So I'm buzzing for breakfast. Got my coffees, juices, and I can't wait to get my food. Ready for this big boy? This is what Tom needs to do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it is a toasty cheese and ham. Just having some breakfast with Big Tom's. I'm just in the water because I'm staying hydrated. Oh. Yes. What's your favourite part of that breakfast, Tom? The worst, thing, the worst part is the tomatoes. Why are you eating the tomatoes? They're good for you. Mark, look Ash brown eggs and beans. Mm. I wonder what Jordan Milligan is having this now. Probably about 20 half pounds. Jordan, we'll take them tomatoes down for you. Oh, better eat that quick she made before Tom eats it. No, <coughs> Next stop. Next stop. We are now approaching April. Please make sure you have all your personal belongings with you. Please check the pockets in the seats. If you drop your mobile phone down by the seat, please do not attempt to get it and approach a member of staff who will help you to get your phone back. Make sure all phones are on flight safe mode. We are now doing the safety demonstration. Please can we have your full attention as this... Hold it. <laughs> Hi guys, free security, Inverness Airport. Are we ready, shall we? Yeah. Let's do this. Just going to wait for a flight. Then we are going to Heathrow. That's the monster. Approaches. Oh my god, is that Tom Stolper? Oh my god. Look at him. Oh my god. That's the world's strongest man. Tommy, Tommy goes away. Still priorities to put at the front of the plane. Big Tommy. Take a seat. She's a little bit grumpy. Why am I grumpy? It's just inner nature. That's what sometimes you have to realise. Because Luke's a stress head. Sometimes people's nature just makes them grumpy. They're just about to take off from Inverness Airport. Sometimes. Oh. Well, 
village. We are in Heathrow. The world famous directors are there. The Mulligan brother and sister. So we tried to upgrade with American Airlines, but apparently you're not able to do that. Go figure. So frustrating. Apparently it's quite a quiet flight, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, but frustrating when you can't can't um, upgrade. That is what it is. Going to fly into JFK. It's about an eight-hour flight. JFK to Columbus, Ohio. Don't know where Tom is. I left my Crocs in my main luggage. If you do not have a Crocs, so I hate airports. It is the most annoying thing in the world. That's my head on. I need to go and do some yoga and meditation. And hum. Do some videoing on the plane, see how big our seats are. No way Tom's fitting in the, in the seat. Catch us on the plane, guys. This is why we fly uh, business class because you can't get your seatbelts on in this class. But yeah, first time since winning worlds I'm in this kind of class, but it is what it is. Let's get a seatbelt on. You'll have to ask him something first. Let's ask. Yeah, I got it. It's a tight squeeze. American Airlines, what are you doing? You're American. Look at the size of it, man. I honestly don't know how Tom's so calm. Keep your mask on at all times because you need to be safe. Masks. <laughs> Look at how big this I love American Airlines. Right guys, so we're in normal class today. I got a bit of leg though, which is not too bad. Got a rain, got some Wi-Fi to watch the Rangers game. We're living the best ways. Sweeties under there, as you can see. Sinead must be doing a job, eh? But it's fine. But yeah. So let's do a little review of American Airlines economy class. So we've been on here, we're flying, I don't know, about half an hour. The entertainment system doesn't work. That's good. There's a lady that walking past every minute, making sure you have your mask on. If it's like that, it's not acceptable. It's got to be like that. What I did notice is when we managed to fly uh, business class, no one cared. No one gave two hoots if we had a mask on or not. So, there you go. Come on, we're having an amazing fight. Uh, Big Tommy's having to do it. I'll stop moaning. I sound like a spoiled brat. Because I am. Well, it's joking. It's fine. I'm just hungry, so I'm grumpy. There's Big Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, he goes away. He's not playing the game today. Oh, there's him. Good morning, everybody. Morning from the night before. We got in, I think, about midnight to Columbus. It was a mad flight coming over from London. Oh, it's just wild. American Airlines, I don't know what you're up to, but it wasn't a nice flight at all. With a very aggressive um, air stewardess. When did air stewardesses become so aggressive, by the way? My memories, up until the last plane I've flown on, have they been, they've been really nice, they've been really accommodating. Because everyone's paying good money to fly. And now they're all getting, well, one of them in particular was very aggressive. And apparently they were fighting. There was a couple of them fighting up the back of the plane. So anyway, it's done. It is what it is. We landed, like I say, we got some food last night. Feeling good, had about six hours sleep. It's just after seven just now, so I'm gonna go for breakfast. Big Tommy's probably still snoring. Alexi and JFK, that was, um, yeah, felt kinda, I don't know, almost emotional meeting him, obviously, with all the stuff that's going on. And here's me moaning about a bloody flight. Do you know what I mean? 
get a grip look. Both Tom and I, we have media stuff to do, so we're going to do that. Get breakfast first, I'm going to go for a quick shower, I won't show you that. I think we have rules tonight. Jordan and Neve Mulligan are here, so they're recording for the documentary, for number two documentary. So there is going to be a second one, for those who didn't know. Do a bit of chilly today, there's a pool here. See Dan, Dan our coach is here as well. Big shout out to Dale, who's competing in under 105s as well, he's looking really strong. Um, and yeah, just get kind of into some type of routine today, I think that's the main thing. So who have we got here? Oh, hey, I'm Simon, guys. Hi. Wow, well, Simon, your YouTube hair channel. is looking amazing. I think, Jeez. I know, yeah. So I realized how fat I was. Right. And so I thought I needed a change for the channel. Yeah, yeah. To make yeah. myself look better, presentable for the Stoltman brothers. So. Thank you. I appreciate because we're all about health, fitness. And style. Style. Yeah. I mean, look at them. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Style it out. Oh. Tom's got pink ones. Yeah, oh, they're six, nice. Yeah, six Look at those legs. Eight. Wow. Been squatting every day, trying to hit a uh, thousand my, pound. No, I'm trying to just get a thousand pound raw with no belt, nothing. Mm. So actually, someone called me uh, fake natty the other day. Because <laughs> I did a 700 pound frame carry. Really? Yeah, up the hill. I'm like, oh, you guys take your PEDs. I'm like. <laughs> Bro, my body's fast like 40%. Dude. Yeah. So you're a strong man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just... He's definitely on something, guys. <laughs> He's jacked. Yeah, cocaine. The cocaine. Romark has definitely got to be the next reserve. Obviously, we've got Bobby Thompson, the American Nightmare, now stepping in for Mateusz. Yeah. Speedy recovery. That guy. I'm not Bobby Thompson. Mateusz, dog. What's happened? He hurt his leg or something? His uh, adductor. Yeah. yeah. He hired a squat coach. Yes. Uh, and an overpowered squat coach. Realizing that there's five events in Strongman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mateusz! Oh, there's Kush coming with her breakfast. So, what have we got? We have pancakes, some potatoes, and bacon, and veg, and some fried eggs. Oh, God bless America. Greatest country in the world. But your airline suck. What's up, Big Tommy? Mm. How did you sleep last night? Yeah, she slept good. Shade, how did you sleep? Mm. What are you eating now? Um, pancakes, and I'm waiting for my eggs and fruits. I'm going to go back to sleep. You sleep, don't you? Yeah. You can tell when Tom's sleepy because he doesn't speak very much. Quite <laughs> huh? 24-7, because he doesn't ever speak. What? What? <laughs> right. I am outside somebody's door. Whose door is this? Hello. 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 Hey. Are you seeing Joey? Oh. Could have told me this was inside out. Oh. What's smart? <laughs> I'm an idiot. I know, you just walked out. Jumper's inside out. There, there you go. It's meant to be cold up there. It's so. freezing. Is it? Let's put some tops the on. The wind is like ice. Oh. Cold. Yeah. Shorts. New lumberjack oh, shirts oh. coming in soon. Oi, oi. Where are we going, Tom? Let's get some food. Hopefully a cheesecake factory. I'm hungry. Very hungry. Do you get sleep? Mm-hmm. So his phone broke, so I had to fix that. Oh, I'm an iPhone genius, so anybody with iPhone problems, <laughs> I'm your man. You're like... stuck in a update loop. <laughs> oh, there you go. Tom, the iPhone stolen. <laughs> oh my God, it's Trey Mitchell <laughs> I... and Robert K. I, I, I've never seen you guys in the same place before. We've been in the same place a few times too. Yeah. I know, I'm just lying. <laughs> How are you feeling, Trey? I'm feeling good, you know, ready. How about you? How are you feeling, Rob? Hello, Chip. Eh. Eh. Nah. Joey? I'm ready. Yes! If you're, if you're always ready, you never have to get ready. Let's go! Hey, hey, hey. 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 Loving the heart is always straight. 
I love the heart as always. Oh, I've still got my one from the Rogue. Oh, yeah. You should have brought it. Yeah, I didn't want to like outdo you and like oh, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. steal his thunder. Yeah, there's only one. Big <laughs> Tommy, what are you saying? You happy? I'm very happy, of course. What are we? The best restaurant in America, Cheesecake Factory. Wait till you see the food we're getting. Of course, my signature. Probably <laughs> not. Jordan and I are vegan, and Jordan got from Starbucks an egg in a roll with other bits, but an egg roll vegan. It's fries me. Yeah? Close, close. We had an egg roll. It was a sausage egg from Starbucks. That was vegan. Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. I'll get one for Tom tomorrow. Yep, what? Imagine coming to America and being vegan. <laughs> that was like, could you not like just do vegan only when you're in the UK? Yeah. You're missing out. So I know, I know, I know. Vegan in America, you have that cheesy macaroni, macaroni yeah, cheese. It's not vegan. There's that, that burger. No, no, the soul food. The soul food, really, that cheesy mac and cheese. Oh, that one. Yeah. So you see in, uh, in Texas, Yeah. do you get vegans? Uh, very rarely. Yeah. They don't last long. Good. They, they, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's not enough meat on the bones. Yeah. Yeah. They either move move away or, you know, we convert them. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine they must, must be very malnourished in Texas. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's like water and lettuce. Yeah. You have vegetables, you know. Speaking of malnourished. <laughs> <laughs> so we are on a cheat day. Every day is a cheat day in America. Remember that. Enjoy yourself. America. 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 Is he saying it right? He's getting closer. America. 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 Next stop is the Arnold statue. As you can see, Luke can't keep his clothes on when he goes near Arnold, but I didn't get a photo of this, I got a photo of the real Arnold, but look at the state of this. Yanni. I am. Move to the side. But just a little bit farther. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I just had food in my belly today. Trey, you can come up. It is a little bit cold, yeah. No, normally I'm. <laughs> <laughs> the calm before the storm. Yeah, so one of the coolest things SPD had was this bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> they probably like once the tire I've made it in life on a billboard thing. Romark, that's a life size. So, and Romark trying to reach me. No, there you can't reach it, wee man. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> So this was quite cool to see this, you know, I've always wanted a big massive blow up on me somewhere and to do that at the Arnold's one of my first years quite cool. Oh, hey. Comments if you guys want to, uh, or if you want him to go down on Splash Mountain. This is Mickey Mouse. Don't with that. Never with that. What are you guys game bag me that, bro? I would love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I'd rock dog you all over the bay. So much. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, yeah I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Just crumbs, just like, like bad spasms, just okay. like spazzed out. I thought you were just kind of playing it smart when you had to come to next week. Yeah, I like, see how good yeah. Tom was when I was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, like, I really think, like, that's like, that's what I thought when I saw it, yeah. which I couldn't uh, fault you for. No, it, it, it was going yeah. Yeah. really bad. It, it really was kind of spasms, but that worked. But I wanted to start with just a little introduction to the space, so you kind of understand. It's, it's, I know some of you are here for the first time. 
some of the coaches are new, um, just so you kind of have a feel for how it works. So the, the main area where you'll be lifting, of course, is right out here. There'll be platforms set on top of this. And we want to try to keep that space as clean as possible. Right, guys, so I think this is the main lady, Jan Todd, telling us about the equipment. This is us here doing the equipment testing, so getting our squat heights like you usually see, looking at all the dumbbells, the log, stone, etc. So, you know, the famous logs themselves. So, yeah, kind of just chilling out, getting used to the arena, getting used to the equipment and just looking at all the legendary stuff they've got done at the Arnolds. This was uh, very, very fun to see and a lot of history in this one place here. There's a big bad rogue dumbbell. There's me getting into the squat to try and get the height. So yeah, this was uh, fun for them. They had to put it right up to the top. They think I'm tall and all that. I'm only five foot two. <laughs> so those are the shoes you squat in? Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was a good grab, whoever did that. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Nerves are just starting to kick in now that we're here, though. I'm like, oh, shit, we're doing this. <laughs> Do you have a message for the boys? Do we want to be sentimental? Do we want to be funny? <laughs> um, you're welcome. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> in Ohio. Um, we've just got our bar height and mat height set for the max squat. So feeling good, really nice. The bar has got some nice width to it. Feels really nice. The depth feels fine for me. I'm usually quite a deep squat anyway. I've just been looking at the Austrian oak, uh, Steve Slater's logs, they look amazing. Feeling a little bit tired now, obviously just with jet lag, all the rest. Get a good sleep tonight, we we'll go for a swim when we get back. We've got a couple more things to do with the meeting, and then that's it. So, yeah, so far so good. Leg is feeling really good, which is nice. Um, and that's it, so we'll chat to you in a wee bit. before we compete is the usual way to go so pancakes Nathan sussed out the buffet earlier on he said have some potatoes with it some bacon a little bit of fruit um, and then that's that half of us and we have a meeting and a meeting at half nine in about an hour um, to discuss some things that we might release later on I haven't talked about it yet uh, there's a few things that came up in the athlete meeting Squat number later on, so that's it. Nice easy day. I'm charging, I'm charging. What are you doing? All right. You get that, uh... It's a bit faulty, but we'll take the charging thing later. Oh, right, okay, hang. Yeah. Um, double that, uh, charge charging thing. Yeah, it's okay. Um, what does it mean? I don't know. She said she's going to say the name, I don't say so. All right, then you're heading on six takes to go. Ten seconds to go. Both of these ladies are going to call it good there. They're going to live the fight another day. They will get credit for the final heat. In lane number one, for a two time defense. We are in lane. You feeling good after the first? Pretty soaked. <laughs> Not a bad way to finish it. <laughs> We're gonna get them to autograph the sweaty towel and see how much money we can get for it. <laughs> Zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. 
make this meal. I'm happy for you. Oh, thanks, love. Bastard. <laughs> we'll give you a cuddle later tonight. Hey, guys, we'll catch you tomorrow. Have a nice sleep. Bye, guys. Bye. Right. Bye. Yeah, you can swap partners, Joey. <laughs> oh, yes, please. No one knows this, but I did a well, obviously, you know this now because you've watched it from the start, but when I went out for a swim, obviously, I was saying some stuff. I was a little bit. Anxious, I think, about coming over here. Um, put a lot of pressure on myself. You know, I said I, I said I wanted to be podium because it was such good events. Um, the deal even have won the show. Squat didn't go the way it should have done. Came back today and got third place in Arnold's. So I'm pretty happy. Got the heaviest we ever pressed on the Austrian Oak, which is pretty cool. Uh, one the log, yeah, did okay today, so a few things need to go back and improve on. Obviously, a couple of learning curves, but it's a good start for the World Strongest Man Prep, which basically starts when we get in, when we get back to Scotland, so we're going to go out tonight, I think, have a lot of celebration. And we might record a little bit, I don't know. But we'll talk to you guys later. What's up? I have had a couple of days. You took on the gold, Blue Moon. You took on the gold. Blue Moon came with an orange in its, in its pint glass. So, I'm just quite happy to say. Yeah, I'm not going to dye my beer, I'm going to savour it. Look at my cheeks, they're so cheeky. That's pretty incredible. This guy with that log is solid. What's up? He's a big one. He's a big one. He's a big one. He won the most resting minus 95 today. Oh, wow. He's a good one. He's a fucking good one. He's a World Cup winner. Number one. Right there. Yes. Number one, under 95. <laughs> Number one. And he cut a lot of weight to get there too. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. From from 103 about a month and a half ago down to 95. Oh, really? Actually wow. to like 93. So 10 yeah. kilos. I think they have a wow. carpet. So I, I bulked up from my gut, yeah, so it's good. You're lucky. What's up, Bob? Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Strongest grip in the world. Oh. I love beer. <laughs> I'm coming from Felix. Yeah, Mark Felix. Mark, Mark is the guy coming and compete. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these two guys. Have you won an Oscar yet? Not yet, man. That it's coming. To the Oscar people in the world, if you try and watch our movie without crying, I guarantee you, you will lose because you will cry. It's the best story ever told because it's real. Deal with it. So the last day, obviously the Sunday, we went down to the SPD booth for an hour. You know, met some fans. Some fans just came to see us, which was cool. You need to give back to your fans, and uh, this was a cool bit as well. You know, we got experience a wee bit of the expo, not just competing. But like I said, met the people that have come to the expo just to see us, paid some good money to come see us, and we gave it back just before we got on the flight. So this was fun, seeing all different ages, you know, from seven, eight year olds up to 50, 60, 70 year olds, and uh, it was a very, very fun thing to do. Day two didn't go the best for me. Well, as I can say, I hit a 190 log, which I don't think I've actually hit in a competition. I think I hit 185 at a Giants Live. I've hit more in training, but you know, at the end of the day, a 190 log, so good for me. I nearly hit the what 200, so that's a positive. But the next two events after that, the frame, well, the frame, <laughs> fifth place as well, then the stone I couldn't get at, but I think it was a lot of fatigue in the end. You know, I think I was mentally more drained than I was physically. Obviously, like I said, training for two comps and been on a training cycle for a long time. I think my ma my mind was getting a bit drained and I needed to come some time. And uh, this is what happened to me last last year before Worlds. I went to uh, Woos Bahrain and ended up coming seventh place there. And then had 10 weeks to train for Worlds Drawers Man and won that. So this is kind of what I'm doing here, you know. I'm 
you know, just trying to analyse what went wrong, what went right, and you know, feedback to the coaches, feedback to the nutritionists. They give me feedback, and we just keep going back and forth until we find a perfect plan. But the good thing about day two for us, I seen Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that was a uh, I can die happy now. Arnold was watching Luke do the log press, which was an amazing man. Imagine getting Arnold watching your log press. It's mind blowing. He was just sitting on the chair. I did my log. I was like, Arnold, can I get a photo? And he was like, yes. I was like, wow. So yeah, I got a photo with Arnold. He was saying hi to us. He was chilling around beside us, giving us high fives. So going from never really seeing Arnold to literally being in, in his company for an hour, an hour plus, and then seeing him every day at the expo and like, you know, he's following us on Instagram, commenting on our stuff. You're kind of like, what? A week ago, I didn't really know. I, Arnold didn't know who I was really, but now he's my friend on social media, commenting on our stuff, and it's mind blowing how these opportunities happen. You know, sometimes comps don't go good. You know, we're human at the end of the day. But all I can say is, this is my first Arnold's seventh place. So next year, I have to come sixth and above to improve, and that's what I'm going to do. So the good thing about it is, I know where I have to improve. I know that this is more statically a static event than it is conditioned and stuff so you know next year I might not do Britons and just focus on Arnold's take a lot of positives away from it got my thinking cap on to change wee bits in training met the main man himself and uh, I'm a happy guy from me and the Terminator hope you guys enjoyed the video stay safe smile and stay spicy that didn't sound like Arnie I'm sorry Arnie right guys hope you enjoyed our little vlog off the Arnold's a little bit different this one in terms of filming we kind of didn't film too much, uh, we're very focused going out there, so hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did, managing to come third in Arnold's is a, is a big achievement for me, I think it's the first time in 16 years I believe a Brits pod uh, podiumed uh, at Arnold's Classic, so really good, set me up well now for world's strongest man the prep for that and yeah super excited to get started training again we've been back a few days jet lag's all passed so starting to train next week in our prep to win world's strongest man so stay tuned for that thank you for watching as always thank you for all the support thank you for buying our merchandise we now have these shirts available different sizes so thank you for the support there Much appreciated. We will see you on the next video. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. Cut for the photo montage with Tom, myself, and the main man, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs>